Welcome to part two. As we get started here, the first thing I need you to do is to log into the KillerSites video tutorial library and download a zip file which contains images that we're going to be using throughout this tutorial. Um, I believe I called it images.zip. So take a look for that. It should be immediately above or below the link to this video. So that's the first step. Um, so download that file and unzip the contents to wherever you go you're going to be uh, developing this application. And in my case, uh, we will be working with PHP, so I've placed the folder within the htdocs folder so my um, uh, server can access them. So the exact place where you place your files may change depending you know, whether you're on Windows or on Mac or whatever, but um, keep that in mind. So what I have here in the left sidebar is I have my Killer Sites folder where I'll be developing this application and I have six different files. Um, I have a banner, I have an edit BG, an edit type, an H1 BG, a toolbar BG, and finally a trans.gif which is a transparent GIF file. And uh, probably the first thing we need to do is build out our folder structure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a new folder, I'm going to call it app, and this folder is going to hold all of our content management system files. Um, we aren't going to be working with that much in this particular video, but in future videos it'll be important. Within app, I'm going to add a new folder called resources, and within resources I'm going to add a new folder called images. And this folder is going to hold all images that relate to the content management system in some way. Um, so I'm going to move all items except for banner.jpg into that folder. So there you go. And uh, we're done with the app folder for the moment. <clears throat> so I'm going to create a new folder. And this one's going to be called resources. And this will hold resources in relation to the website itself. So I'm going to start out uh, with the CSS folder. Uh, excuse me. So a CSS folder, and within that folder, I'm going to add a style.css file. And then I'm going to create a new folder, images, and I'm going to place my banner.jpg within that. There you go. And as a last step, um, for this particular video at least, I'm going to create one more new file, index.php. And let me close out all of these, with the exception of my style.css and here my index.php. So uh, let me move forward building out the actual HTML and CSS template that we're going to be using. Uh, so I'm going to start out with just a standard uh, HTML for layout. So we have my doc type. I have a head section with a title. I'm just going to call this test. Nothing super fancy here. Um, I'm going to include my CSS file. And in case anyone's wondering, um, the program that I'm using to do all these little text snippets is something called Text Expander. Uh, it's a program for the Mac and allows me to type in various um, commands on my keyboard, hit tab, and they'll automatically expand into a full um, snippet of code. So it's pretty useful and helps me speed up typing quite a bit. So anyway, um, so we have this. Let's uh, link up our CSS file correctly. So resources, CSS, style.css. And uh, within the body, um, let's start out by giving it a class of home. I usually like adding classes to the body tag to indicate whether it's a home page or a sub page or you know a specific layout. Um, then I'm going to add a div ID wrapper, and this is going to center the website. And within wrapper, I'm going to have an h1 tag. I'm just going to call it website. And I'm going to add a div with an ID of banner. And within that div, I'm going to add my image.
banner.jpg. I'll give it an alt tag of banner a width of 900 pixels and a height of 140. So that finishes up the banner. Um, then I'm going to move on. Instead of a div, I'm going to use an unordered list here. And this is going to be our navigation section. And I'm going to add unordered list items within it. And just a couple sample ones, just you know, so you can get a feel for what this would work like. So home. I'm going to copy and paste this line a couple times. Just going to do a test link, longer text link, or test, but doesn't really matter, and uh, contact us. So the point of what I'm putting together now isn't so much to work or to show an example of a fully working website, but at least give us the framework that we can work with our content management system and update and edit content, um, just to give you a feel of how this would work. So I'm going to add another div ID. This will be our content section. And within this content, I'll add div with a class of left. This will be a left column. And a div with a class of right. And uh, that'll be the right column. And within these sections, I'm just going to add in a bit of filler content here. Um, and the same thing with the right column. <clears throat> OK, so content is done. And add a footer as well. And add the copyright symbol 2011 test website. And I believe that'll do for now. Yep, looks good. And I'll delete these couple extra spaces at the bottom here. Just move things up so you could see it a little bit better. So let me save this. Um, let's do a quick preview. And you'll notice this is what it looks like at the moment. I'm just standard HTML. And let's go ahead and work on the style.css.